recording on. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the 144 Sacred Portal Project that is being offered by the Mentors of Love and Wisdom. My name is Iniasa Mabu Ishtar. I am the founder of the Mentors of Love and Wisdom. And this is a very special project. And we're doing this project through guidance from the Universal Mothers who came to me 12 years ago and asked me to identify 144 sacred portals on the earth and what their consciousness was. So I've asked our students of the Path of the One Heart, caretakers and scribes to identify these portals around the world and to receive what the consciousness is. Because the Universal Mothers say that this consciousness, when it's activated, supports humanity to remember its truth. So every eight weeks, we present one of these portals. The portal that we're presenting today is the Ile Sainte Marie in Madagascar. And this one was identified by Eureka and Namjoti. They're working with this portal, working with the consciousness of it. So they're going to explain what this portal's about, what it actually does, and they're going to share with us a ceremony, a meditation, where we can connect with this portal and receive and activate this portal. So if you are ready, we're going to hand over. And now, Jody, if you can make that full screen, it's still not full screen now, the second slide. So you just need to go into slide and make it slides, not, yeah. We need to have full screen slides, just like you had. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I, my connection was lost this way. There you go. There Sorry. you go. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to hand over now to Nam Jodi and Eureka, and they're going to take you through this beautiful presentation and connection to the consciousness of this sacred portal on the earth so we can help Mother Earth connect with us more deeply. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ishtar, for that beautiful introduction. Hello, everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for being here with us today, for your presence and supporting us to anchor the sacred portals on earth at this time. It is with great honor and a blessing to share with you the portal of Il Saint Marie Madagascar. My name is Eureka May and I'm the caretaker of Sacred Light. And here with me is... Hi everyone, I am Namjoti. I am a scribe, a keeper of the Akashic Records of Creation. And thank you for joining us today in this activation, connecting with this portal. Thank you. So before we proceed, I'd like to share you the outline of our pre presentation today. So basically the first few pages will highlight some information historical as well as interesting facts about Madagascar. Then we will show you a little video of the island Saint Marie. Uh, we will be sharing the consciousness that we receive of the portal as well as the Akashic record. And we will go into a meditation where we all connecting all together to the portal. And uh, we will be singing the universal mantra that we receive for this portal. And at the end, we will ground and um, uh, do the closure. So please sit back and relax. And we hope you all enjoy our presentation today. Thank you. So um, basically, what we see here is um, all of the um, 
as Istar said, all of the identified um, 144 identified sacred portals that we were working on during the Path of One Heart uh, program. In the red uh, dot that is indicated, that is our portal for today, Il St. Marie Madagascar portal. And um, earlier this year, um, I would like to add uh, that we have presented other portals and are available on the website. So we are the last one to uh, share this um, presentation uh, today. So the other portals that are open and available on our website were presented the Amazon River portal, the sacred portal of the Atlas Mountains, the Sahara sacred portal, and the last one that was presented in October is was the Garmsar in Iran portal. So once again, these portals are available uh, on our website and please have a look at them. So for today, um, we'd like to share you our portal, El St. Marie Madagascar. So as you can see here, uh, we're showing you the map of Madagascar. Uh, and on your right, the little island of El Saint Marie. As you can see, um, El Saint Marie, uh, also uh, called as Nosi Boraha, which is the Malagasy uh, name of the island. If you can point out where the island is on the map, um, it's very, very small actually. Um, so Madagascar is located, as you can see in the map, uh, in southwestern Indian Ocean, and is separated from the African uh, Mozambique Channel, as you can see. The distance between the African coast is about 400 kilometers. And Madagascar is actually the fourth largest island in the world, after Greenland, New Guinea, and Borneo. The capital, as we know, uh, of Madagascar is Antananarivo. The spoken language there is Malagasy and French. Christianity is the predominant religion. However, the traditional beliefs are deeply rooted in the population. So the Madagascar people are known as Malagasy, and they are descendants of settlers from Borneo and East Africa, and draw their cultural heritage from Southeast Asia, India, Africa, and Middle East. More than 20 ethnic groups coexist in the island, and their common language, also called Malagasy, is actually uh, most closely related to a language spoken in South Borneo. So Madagascar Island has been isolated for about 80 million years. With that, many of its plants and animals are unique to the island. It has developed its own distinct uh, ecosystems and extraordinarily wildlife since it split from the African continent, estimated around uh, 160 years ago. So the vast majority of reptiles, plant life, and mammals actually exist nowhere else on Earth. There are many rainforests, um, tropical dry forest plateaus, deserts. Its coastline and islands are home to some of the world's largest coral reef systems and most extensive mangrove groove areas in the Western Indian Ocean. A range of plants and animals make their home on the island, especially baobab trees. So above baobab trees, they are often portrayed as a figure of origin, a sign of foundation and beginning of all things. It is known as element of connection between the multiplicity of world. The baobab, which is also referred to as the tree of life. It is one of the fundamental symbols of the tradition 
traditional African cultures. The old African baobabs with huge trunks give the permission of being witness of time immemorial. In many cultures in Africa, the baobab trees appears as the principle of connection between the supernatural world and the material world. So that's more like what we would like to share about the historical facts uh, of Madagascar. And last but not least, the island of El Saint Marie, which is actually extending 12 kilometers from the south, from the northwest, west and southeast. And it is the oldest island in the archipelago with formations that are 8.12 million years old. So before we before we show you the video, which is now coming up, um, this is the island of El Saint Marie. Um, this is a short video for you to see and maybe feel how it looks like and see the many colors of the water around it surrounding it. So the guardians of this land and this portal have shared this mantra with us that is helping us to connect to its energy and consciousness. So to start with, we'd like to chant it with you 12 times. The mantra is Yeata Elahe Eyaneho, and it means joyous creation on earth, joyous life on earth. So please, if you feel like it, inhale deeply and we will chant it together 12 times now. Inhale. <speaking in Spanish> I'm just staying connected to the vibration of the mantra, just allowing it to penetrate in all parts of your being now. Maybe you have a joyous energy flowing through you. Just allowing it. As we now move on to the next 
slide, which is the consciousness of El Saint Marie photo. And as Ishtar mentioned earlier, so as the sacred caretaker of lights, um, so we have co-created with Nam Jyoti. Um, I have uh, identified El Saint Marie as one of the 144 sacred portal, uh, portal on earth. Of course, with the guidance of, from the universal mothers. And following that guidance, the gateway of consciousness was open to me of this portal. And the guardians has presented to me, sharing their gifts and message to us all. And the consciousness of this portal and the message is that this portal is a gatherer and a communication portal. It has a gatekeeper and is actually an ancient well that is called by the name of Faham. Faham. And Faham is connected to many cosmic wells from other planets across the universe. Their purpose is to transmit the void or consciousness that purifies the sacred water, the pathways of the waters on earth, and into the heart of humanity. They move and play around through the vastness of the deep ocean, connecting the water lines to one another. They are the sound that we come to seek. Hear their spirit singing to us. Receiving the ancient wisdom they hold. For it's time to immerse in the sacred water of your land. In the sacred water of your heart. Call to them call to them, call to them. We ask you to just breathing in, allowing this consciousness, allowing it to receive in all parts of your being now. And the Akasic records we received from this portal about the karma and the gifts of wisdom that this portal holds. We receive that this portal is fed by and feeds liquid light into the earth for rejuvenation, joy, and love. And the creatures of the sea, especially the whales and dolphins, are connected to this portal and deeply connected to the heart of humanity. It is a gathering of souls ready to manifest a divine plan of joy. The karma this portal held of humanity was around sadness. When humanity loses the connection to the joy of life, and this loss of connection is connected to the minds of humanity and its quest to control the flow of life. So the guidance asks us again to gather our hearts together and sing with the beings of this portal to remember our joyous creation on earth. The well beings bring the depth of joy of creation, and the dolphin beings bring over numerous lifetimes the depth of connection to the earth elements. Eureka and me working with this portal have worked to release this karma for ourselves and on behalf of humanity so that these gifts can be freely anchored more deeply into the heart of Mother Earth for all beings. So now I will ask you to join us into meditation.
to connect all together deeply with the beings and the consciousness of this portal. So let us all join all together. I invite you now to close your eyes. Taking a deep breath in and out. And you may do this a couple of times. Breathing in and breathing out. Allowing your body to be calm and to drop in the stillness of you, connecting deeply with your breath, just allowing your body to drop even more. In the stillness of you. Grounding your feet. Connecting and anchoring your pillar of light. Into the heart of Mother Earth. Breathing in, breathing out, connecting to your pillar of light, grounding your feet even more, deeper. Let us open and expand our heart as one. As we open and activate the gateway of consciousness, of El Saint Marie portal now. And let us welcome and invite the Christed Masters as we call into Babaji, Venus Kumara. Let us call in Mother Gaia, the Universal Mother, the Guardians of the Land, the Archangels. Let us call in our Higher Self, our Divine Presence. Our oversoling masters. Let us call in the elements of the earth and the portal of the land of El Saint Marie, Madagascar. Breathing in and let us sit in our heart, honoring and thanking. Christed Masters, in deep gratitude for their presence with us today. Inviting you now to sit in the consciousness of this loving portal and breathing it in, breathing it in, breathing it in to center of your heart. And 
imagine yourself in the island, standing on top of the mountain or in front of the sea. Visualize the island. Take a deep breath in and feel the water that surrounds you. Feel the warmth and the calm breeze of the air in your skin. Hear the sounds of the birds, their songs, and the other animals too. Connecting to the plants and the trees all around you. And breathing in calmly and gently. Allowing yourself to observe and witness all that is. Grounding yourself even more deeper. Connecting to this portal. Taking a moment of silence to do this. Expanding your heart. Opening it even more. Just allowing. Observing and witnessing. Breathing in deeply. Allowing your heart to open and expand even more. And slowly start to hear the spirits of cosmic realms approaching closer and closer to you. Allowing to hear their loving voice as they share and whisper the ancient wisdom to connect the sacred water of our land, the sacred water of our heart, that is one. Open your heart as the spirits of the whales come to transmit the void of consciousness that purifies the sacred pathways of the waters on earth and into the heart of humanity. Breathing in deeply. Breathing out. and open to receive their wisdom as they speak to us. The water pathways that lie underneath the sacred land where you are at this time are connected to us. We will hear you as you open your heart where there is a lake in your surrounding. Immerse yourself to it and celebrate your joyous life on earth. 
visualizing your whole being in communion with the water. Listening deep in silence for we are present as one with you. Witness the whole universe conspiring as above so below remembering the pure essence of who you are. Continue to breathe in deeply and out. As they continue to work with your solar plexus, they ask to open it to them to bring the energy of joy into your life, to release the fear of joy on earth, the fear that joy will make you vulnerable and the belief that you cannot create life with joy, but it has to be hard. Breathe into the heaviness of this, where you feel it in your body or in your life and completely surrender it to them. Allow your breath to guide this release in surrendering it completely. Just simply allowing and releasing. open to receive and sitting in silence. Keep connecting to the breath of life.
slowly. That is so gentle. And slowly come back into our body. Finding your feet. Moving your toes, your fingertips. Coming back to where you are now. Slowly open your eyes. And as we are connected to this frequency of the portal, join us once more. Let us unite with the universal sound of the mantra of this portal. Let us sing it 12 times to anchor this energy. Inhale. Ya da la he ya ne ho 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 Breathe it in your full being With your out breath, exhale all your energy down to the heart of Mother Earth. And breathe in again into your heart portal, your heart center. And as you exhale, send your roots down in the heart of Mother Earth. And one more time, inhale into your heart portal. As you exhale, anchor all the energy and the frequency into the heart of Mother Earth. So that all beings may connect deeply and fully to the consciousness of this portal when they choose the consciousness of this portal may be fully anchored on the earth. Oh, Mother Earth and all beings. And in deep gratitude, we thank you all for your presence, for joining us in the activation of this portal. In deep gratitude for all beings. Thank you.
Blessings and thank you, everyone. Thank you to Eureka May. Thank you to Olga Namjoti. Thank you so much to the Universal Mothers and all the Guardians of the Land. And thank you to each one of you for joining us and supporting our sacred portal work on the earth. The next portal that's going to be presented will be on January 27th, and I believe it's the Congo. We will confirm that in a newsletter. So our sacred work continues, and we give thanks to all of you for joining us. And don't forget, if anyone has missed this beautiful presentation, this lovely meditation, it will be up on YouTube very shortly where you can watch it or your friends might like to watch it. So blessings to you and thank you all very much for being with us. <laughs>